I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aries, the recent past energy between you and your person, Eight of Pentacles, clarified by this Knight of Wands. Also, I need to stop and say, if you're having a hard time hearing me, the video is in CC closed captioning, so click the CC button and you can see the text that I'm talking in subtitles or headphones. Uh, they work really well also. So like I said, Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands for the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, this Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You've got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. But if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. But this Eight of Pentacles, it's showing and indicating a very, very hard work period. Because if you take a look at the picture, Eight of Pentacles is the card above the word pass. This man he looks like he gets up before sunrise. He starts working all the way through the day. And it's even, it's, it's turning into nighttime now. And he's still working. And he has no intentions on stopping. And on top of that, it's raining out there. And if you put your screen on full, you could see the huge raindrops. Very, very hard work period. This Eight of Pentacles is. Now just keep in mind, it does not have to be a negative thing, but you do have to be pre prepared for it. Now, it's with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, it's showing you it's a great time for travel if you can get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Self-confidence is increasing, which helps towards any goals that you have. Now, the Knight of Wands, they're often about messages, some type of message coming in. It's a message bearer. And the messages, they're likely to be really positive could be work related or career related any projects that you have they would be more successful than you expected or predicted so you'll have a lot of reasons to feel pride so basically this recent past energy between you and your person eight of pentacles square five by the knight of wands so i'm getting that um your person they they reached out to you or they were coming towards you um, like the Knight of Wands is doing. Um, your person could have been an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident type. Knight of Wands is fearless. They're fearless and really brave. Um, yeah, and your person, they, uh, they wanted to work work on the connection with you. Now for some of you, for some of you, you you knew this person wanted to reach out to you. They were contacting you or talking to you because like I said the Knight of Wands is about is a message bearer. So some message came in, the person reached out to you. For some of you you only had one foot in and one foot out. But this person they wanted to work on things. Not only work on things, but really work on things. Yeah, maybe maybe work on things, getting back together. They wanted, they were motivated, put it this way. This person was motivated, inspired. They had a lot of passion for you. Because the Eight of Pentacles, like I said, it goes really hard. Yeah, and to go that hard, you got to have passion, motivation, or be inspired or something. 
So someone came towards you like this. It could be the person that you're with. They were rushing in and willing to work on things really hard. And like I said, others for other areas, you only have one foot in and one foot out. Yeah. So we move on over and we take a look and see what's coming up for. Oh yeah, what's coming up for the two of you? We got the devil, the devil card. And it's with the Six of Cups. Now, the Devil card, you have to remember that no matter what your situation is, you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, you want to be sure that you are coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions you feel are holding you back. At any time you choose to do so, you could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. And sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions. But more often, it's a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if that's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because we all know that small baby steps, they're important too. Now it's with the Six of Cups, which is a card about nostalgia. Looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It is important not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. And I say this because we all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start to think that the best of all the years have gone by, then that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So basically what's coming up, Aries, for you and your person? You got the devil clarified by the Six of Cups. So yeah, like I said, you got somebody that's motivated about you. They have a lot of passion and they're inspired. And like I said, so for some of you, you're going for the ride. You're, yeah, you're all in. But for others of you Aries, you only got one foot in and one foot out. Now coming up, you could be thinking about, this could be a past person, because we got this Six of Cups here, and it can be about the past. So, I know you don't want to hear that word past, but I'm sorry, that's what the cards, I'm just reading the cards, okay? Don't get mad at me when I use that word past. Yeah, so it could be somebody from, from before, I'm going to use that word. Yeah, so, anyway, you, it looks like coming up, you're going to be looking, you're going to be thinking about how things used to be with you and this person. And, and you're remembering a lot of the, the bad, the bad keeps popping up in your head. There was, there was good, but the bad, it just keeps keeps coming up to the forefront because we got this devil card yeah your person they could have um it could have been really toxic or maybe they had a lot of devil type of energy yeah because the devil card can be about addictions it can be about um yeah toxicity yeah, um, addictions can be greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust, alcoholism, drug abuse, just some type of tox toxic energy your person brought to the connection. Yeah, so you're looking back though. Yeah, that's why a lot of you only have one foot in 
and one foot out. They're wanting to be with you, but like I said, the, the, the bad memories, they keep popping back up in your head. So you're looking back on how things were. You're being very nostalgic. So we move on over and we take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Page of Wands. And it's with this Two of Pentacles. Now the Page of Wands, they're usually warm, ambitious, high, high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's important to try to stay focused. This card indicates that maybe some things you started some time ago, they could start to come to fruition, start to come to life. It can also show there's a need for new things, new adventures, new ideas, new approaches. The page it actually brings a positive energy. Yeah, but because of this energy of easy distraction and having a hard time staying focused, you're going to have to supply the follow through. Yeah, and when you, whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that means a student, that can mean youth, that can mean immaturity, or maybe someone who's, who's younger than you. Now, it's with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles can um, indicate two main issues at front in your mind, so you might need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. So, you might need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Your financial situation, it may need to be more balanced, so you want to be sure that you're paying attention there. So your challenge, Aries, Page of Wands, clarified by this Two of Pentacles. So like I said, um, yeah, you got somebody that's um, motivated and inspired about, motivated and, and inspired about you or trying to get something started again and here they are showing up for the challenge this page of wands it's a message bearer so the messages are usually messages of love and affection um having a lot of passion this person has a lot of passion for you yeah you got two passion cards here eight of pentacles and the page of wands so yeah, here they come, again. So, communication, talking, but it looks like the Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you're gonna make busy, whether you're busy or not. It looks like you're gonna act like you're too busy. Yeah. You, you're going to make this person believe that you got, you don't really have time. And maybe you're not going to answer the phone. Maybe you won't reply to the text. Or when you do talk to this person, maybe you're going, maybe you will be saying, well, I got to do this and I got to do that. And then I have to follow up with this and then I'll be over there and then I'll be over here. All these excuses. And, yeah, I'm getting it. It's because you keep thinking about how toxic the connection once was. But, yeah, they're reaching out to you. Like I said, this person has a lot of passion for you, Aries. Now, we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Seven of Swords. And it's with the Two of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel like digging through someone else's life, 
and let's just get out of your minor child, then you might want to, you know, think twice. Because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. Yeah, Seven of Swords, behaving with manipulation, tactics, strategy, mind games. That's what the Seven of Swords is about. Now, it's with the Two of Swords, which tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. However, you should consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this requires open communication. So basically the outcome, seven of swords, clarified by two of swords. Yeah, like I said, you make busy. Even if you're not, you're going to be making busy. And they will get the impression that, that you're not interested or they'll pick up on that energy. So what they do, what they'll be doing once they pick up on that type of energy that you're giving them, it seems like they start, start watching you a lot. They could be, if you get pictures on Facebook, they could be just watching all the time to see if you put any new pictures on there. Maybe they drive by your house to see if they can get a glimpse of you. So they start doing, you know, some stalking. I don't think it's anything crazy, but this person has a lot of passion for you. They... This person either wanted a second chance, or if it was someone new, I don't think so, because you kept looking back on the toxic energy, and you didn't want to invite that back into your world anymore. So, yeah, it's getting at someone that you already knew. So they keep tabs on you. I don't think it's anything harmful. Yeah, like I said, they re they'll be reaching out to you again, maybe more than a few times. But the Two of Swords is showing that you, you will choose to avoid this person, and you're going to block them. Avoid and block, that's what you're doing. That's what you will be doing. So, Aries, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated as you know. General readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you. In the next few weeks, I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aries, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So, stay strong, take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Aries reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind, when you get these readings from me, the roles can be reversed. They can be switched, meaning you could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member or some type of situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because like I said, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aries, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading.
and take care.